Hello Rutbags, it's Jade. Welcome to a Borderlands 3 news video. Today we're discussing the release date for Borderlands 3. It's been leaked, we know the release date, I am pretty confident of this release date. Also the news that it looking likely it is going to be an Epic Games exclusive and not on Steam. If you believe Twitter today, it is April Fools, but I really genuinely think this is true. People have been going around with these ideas about when Borderlands is going to release. They're saying that it could be October because it celebrates 10 years since the first Borderlands game come out. And in the trailer, there's some bollocks about seeing the letters 1 and 0. And when you add 1 and 0, it equals 2 plus 2 equals quick maths. Bullshit. What we do actually have right now is a tweet put out by the Borderland devs that just got deleted. It was up there for literally seconds before it got deleted, but someone managed to get a screen grab and it looks like Borderlands 3 is coming September the 13th. Honestly, you cannot trust Twitter today with the amount of bullshit and game developers are pulling because it's April Fools. I've seen so many April Fools jokes. It's becoming a little bit crap, but this doesn't look like it is an April Fool's joke. It looks like it really is the release date that's been revealed too soon. We are meant to be getting the release date, or we assumed we're getting the release date on April the 3rd. That's when they're doing their next big reveal. Obviously, that's when the Game of the Year version of Borderlands 1, or I should say the remastered Game of the Year version, comes out on Xbox and PS4. So it's not that unheard of for them to accidentally have this all set out as part of their marketing, pre-ready to go up, Basically, they've made a huge, huge, massive mistake. Of course, Borderlands 3 is looking likely to be called The Mask of Mayhem, and it does appear in this tweet as September the 13th. So I really genuinely think this is something Gearbox have just done by mistake, or maybe not done by mistake, just to draw up some even more, more massive PR. It also falls in line with Take Two, their publisher announcing that the game would launch in quarter two, I do believe, or the second part of something. So it all falls in line. Ball Dance 3 is coming September. That's probably the best month. That's normally when Destiny releases its brand new content. And September's a good month to get that loot and shoot genre before the massive multiplayer games come out like Call of Duty and the Battlefields. September is pretty much one of the best months. Get in early, get the people playing together. It sounds like a good plan to me. We'll know for definite on Wednesday when we get more information about Borderlands 3, exactly what type of game it's going to have, more news, more information. I'll be there to show you it. And of course, alongside that, the growing unease a lot of people, particularly PC gamers, obviously have had. It looks like Borderlands 3 really will be an Epic Games exclusive. Randy Pitchford has already stressed on Twitter in December he couldn't see the reason why people were so upset with Epic Games maybe doing exclusives. He just reasoned it's just a storefront, you just buy it from it. I've shown this off in a video I've previously talked about Borderlands 3. You can go and check that out if you want more information and to see the tweets for yourself. But this has just been leaked as well. It's an advertisement for Borderlands 3 and look in the bottom left corner it says the epic game store logo nothing to do with steam now granted it doesn't also show the xbox logo or the ps4 logo but given what randy has said and given the way that epic have been really really pushing this i see borderlands 3 being an epic games exclusive now i never really spoke about what i thought about the borderlands trailer and i've got to say it was a bit underwhelming i really do hope there's lots of new features in the game and i really hope they're going big on some game modes not just the standard pve experience with your squad mates maybe something to mix it up we know battle royals not coming they've confirmed good thing bad thing let me know in the comment section other news you need to know is this the remaster of Borderlands 1 is obviously coming out Wednesday. If you own it on PC, you don't have to buy any other version. You'll get a free upgrade that redoes the graphics a little bit more, gives you all the free DLC and all the new stuff like the brand new shift codes being added to the game. This has been confirmed on multiple websites, particularly straight after the PAX East show, that basically anyone on PC that owns the original Borderlands game, you will get the upgrade. So even if you've never bought any of the DLC, you will get all the DLC for free when it goes live this Wednesday. So it may be worth going to pick up a copy. I've seen a copy of Borderlands 1 for around £7. That was the Game of the Year edition. If you can find a more basic version than that somewhere, go and pick it up on Steam. It'll probably be the best way to get the game. Otherwise, you can go and buy the remastered edition, just like it's going to be on Xbox and the PS4. Of course, we're going to have to pay around 30 quid or whatever it is for that one. 
It looks like this won't be open to anyone on Xbox who had it on Xbox 360 or the PS3, it's only for PC. That also applies to Borderlands 2 and the prequel series. Both of them games are also going to receive an update that gives better graphical fidelity as well as some more extra little features. So if you're looking to play Borderlands for the first time, you may want to go and get yourself a cheap Borderlands 1 key and basically upgrade it for free when it comes out on Wednesday. What are you going to be buying? Are you going to be buying this? Are you going to be saving your money for the new game? I loved Borderlands 1. I'll definitely be playing it on Wednesday. So there we go. That is it. Borderlands done and dusted. Release date leaked. If I'm wrong, come back and tell me I'm wrong. If I'm right, you make sure you're subbed. You make sure you've got notifications on. I'm going to be giving you a lowdown on everything to do with Borderlands as it approaches release. I am JPG. Make sure you like this video and I'll see you rap bags later.